Okay, welcome everybody. Thanks for joining us in practice, um, whether you're here on the Zoom call or practicing with us later on, on YouTube or whatever. I guess that would be the only other way. Yes, on YouTube. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was just sharing with folks in the Zoom room here that, uh, well, it's been a long day and I teach in the morning and stuff and and then uh then this afternoon there's like these was really studying a lot and trying to kind of amalgamate some thoughts into some clarity but there just was no clarity it's just a lot of fogginess and sleepiness and dullness fuzziness um conditions arising um in this system at this time and uh and it wasn't until I was talking with a, a friend and co-teacher just about like I don't know what I'm doing tonight um other than I I'm I'm just going to show up and I was like oh yeah <laughs> how did I forget that just show up like I knew I was just going to show up because I made a commitment to be here um to myself and others and, and uh but the importance of just showing up and really how much our practice is more than just showing up but if we don't just show up there is no practice so that's really a first piece of how we come to meet the moment meet ourselves meet this life experience flowing through with however it is all the vicissitudes all the waves of life whether they're sickness or health or um, ease or discomfort or praise or blame and all the different ups and downs of life and uh yeah the co-teacher friend you know was talking about their recent practice and and just coming to the place of what does it mean to show up for our life in that way we just show up it's always changing and beyond our control mostly but all we do have a facility for is how we meet it how we show up for it and what what qualities of presence and self-compassion, compassion for others, um, we can bring to those moments. Yeah, and uh, with that quality of just what does it mean to show up for our life and what does it mean to show up in our practice, even when we're tired, even when we're too busy, even when we're restless and agitated or angry or all the everything that we are, um, when we show up and it's like this phrase, um, it's like this. Oh, it's like this. How is it? Let's, let's check it out. Let's meet it. Oh, it's like this right now. And see its nature, that it's conditioned, whatever is here, that it's also impermanent. It wasn't like this then it's not going to continue nothing is permanent and solid and isolated from everything else including this self and uh oh it's it's like this and really this cultivates the quality of equanimity which is one of the i hate to put these kind of uh hmm, terms on it but one of the highest attainments in meditation and is equanimity which is this presence this steadiness in the midst of the waves in the midst of the changing conditions and the ups and downs this and so this quality of just showing up meeting ourselves on our you know, that commitment to our practice, no matter all those variables, conditions how we show up in our daily life, of course. 
Yeah, so that's, um, there isn't a big Dharma talk tonight because I'm just showing up and this is how it is and there isn't, um, isn't more than that. And so I hope that is in some way a service to how things are for you as well. And uh, we're just going to slide right into our practice. Um, yeah, so feel free to adjust anything you need. I'm going to put a little cushion because I feel a lack of energy in my body. So I'm going to put some cushion under my hips and low back so that I have a bit more uprightness because I can feel a sense of collapsing energy. So uh, see if that's something that's helpful for you. Yeah, that helps. Just tipping the pelvis forward a little bit. Just... Uh, Oh, that feels helpful, yeah. Because we do, um, th these are practices of awakening. So to just show up, we want to be awake to how things are. And so that can be helpful and really important to have that in our posture as well. That helps the give some energy to bring awakeness and awareness. Hmm. The, uh, the practice of mindfulness is the practice of bringing mm, awakening chitta, which is heart-mind, the awake heart, the aware heart, to this whole breadth of life experience and it begins with the first foundation mindfulness of body and so we bring the awake heart the aware kind benevolent compassionate awareness to being embodied here and now so as you've adjusted your posture to as much ease and wakefulness as available to you right now. Maybe helpful to have some movements or sighing breaths. And connecting first with a sense of um, the vertical axis of our energy being, our energy body, from the pelvic floor, from the tailbone, up through the crown of the head. This gives us some energy. And from that inner alignment and uprightness, this sense of centering, we soften any habit tensions that have gathered from all the clashes of our human beingness. This is essentially greed, hatred, and delusion. So these times of wanting and not wanting and not seeing clearly create contractions and tensions in the body. So feeling into the musculature of the face, widening, softening, releasing. The neck lengthening as the shoulders drop. The weight of the shoulders relaxing down through the elbows into relaxed hands.
softening inner belly. And then beginning to feel the horizontal axis, the widening as we allow gravity, this centering through the hips, legs, feet. So a sense of uprightness and a sense of width. And as we're arriving into our posture, perhaps floating in this gentle inquiry, not as something we need to think about or figure out, but what does it mean to show up for your life right now? To really meet yourself, how are you? How's your energy? What mind states are showing? How is the heart? How is the body? And just take a few moments together. Meeting ourselves. How are you? It's like this. I'm feeling with this practice the quality of a, a warm presence with this embodied experience right now. The warm presence of heart, the heart's awareness, citta. And as we cultivate this first foundation of mindfulness, mindfulness of body, heart's awareness of being embodied, and gentle noticing of the sensations of the body, the sense that there's rhythms happening. Rhythms of flow, of pulse, of electrical currents, of contractions.
as much as possible, feel this as direct sensation. The other qualities of mindfulness of body and its elements. One of them is the sensation of cohesion. That there's a sense of kind of being held together. There's, uh, if there was no cohesion, we would just be a a moving form or a blob, there's a cohesion to this embodied experience. What does that feel like? And we can also open to the felt experience of the fire element. Cohesion is the water element. The fire element is known as the different temperatures that are being felt in different parts of the body, changing at times. Sensations of warmth or coolness. It's like this. And we can open to the sensations of the earth element. Firmness, pressure, hardness. Where does the body feel contact with other surfaces? Are some softer than others, harder? And where does the body feel the sensation of openness that's not, that's just making contact with light touch of clothing or just with air? And then we can open to the sensations of the air element. Just in a really spacious way tonight. Perhaps feeling across the chest, 
all the way around the sides of the torso and the back. Just feeling these sensations of movement as the body breathes, expanding and contracting. around the whole torso or chest area. If there's a lot of sleepiness or contraction, you might find it helpful to open the eyes a little bit with a very soft gaze as we continue feeling spacious breath, just opening to the sense of the space in the room, brings in a bit of light and wakefulness. Connection. And when awareness becomes distracted or moves off to other objects, very gently, like a butterfly returning to a flower for its nourishment, the attention, heart's awareness gently rests back on this spacious breathing. And in these last five minutes of the practice, connecting into the felt experience to whatever degree it's available of some sense of equanimity within all of the conditions that are coming and going, 
all of these sensations and thoughts. The felt experience of uprightness, centering, and width, presence, like a mountain in the midst of it all. Let's continue together in silence. As we inhale, we show up, and as we exhale, we let go.
Before we end the practice, perhaps setting an intention, may I continue to show up for myself and others with this kind awareness, centered and present. Good thing I write down the time when I start the practice because that didn't feel like 25 minutes to me, but it was. Um, yeah, strange. Um, hmm. So that was helpful for me, and I hope it was for you in some way, and uh, that we continue to just uh, be in presence with how it is, because what else can we do? Thanks for joining us.